Hello, welcome to the Friday, September 15th, 2017 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Las Vegas, Nevada. Xavier today took a quick look at a web shell that he found on Pastebin. Now, web shells, of course, are often installed in the aftermath of a web application compromise. Kind of interesting how this particular web shell downloaded part of its configuration as an image from Google user content. The image then included EXIF data, which actually decoded to some of the configuration parameters for this particular web shell. In particular, the email address to which details about infected hosts are being sent. Many of these web shells do have backdoors like this that essentially report back whenever the web shell is installed on a system. And earlier this week, a number of severe vulnerabilities were disclosed in the D-Link 850L router. Now, these vulnerabilities were not disclosed responsibly. Instead, they were just posted as a blog without first notifying D-Link. D-Link now announced that they have a patch ready for these vulnerabilities and they will release it early next week. So if you do have a D-Link 850L router, make sure you check sometime next week for this patch, supposed to come out on the 19th. Now, if you don't run a D-Link router and if you don't run this particular model from D-Link, I recommend just for good measure, check if there is a firmware update for your router. We did have a large number of router vulnerabilities disclosed over the last few months. Really too many to mention them all here in the podcast. So there is a pretty good chance that there may be an update for your router available. And as usual, make sure that remote access to your admin interface is disabled. And web browsers in recent months have become more and more stringent on what they call a secure site and have started to label sites that, for example, offer HTTP only as insecure. Now, looks like Chrome is now looking beyond HTTP. Browsers, of course, are often used for other protocols, like, for example, FTP and FTP will now be labeled as insecure as well, just like HTTP, which uh, just makes sense because FTP really suffers from all the exact same weaknesses that HTTP suffers in so far makes sense to label them just alike, even though, of course, users are much less likely to actually use FTP. And we all know about the risks to download Android software from unofficial app stores. Well, it turns out that yet again, Checkpoint was able to find malicious software in the official Google Play Store. Checkpoint does call this malware expensive wall for it sending premium SMS messages in order to make money for the attacker. Now, the name expensive wall is also derived from one of the applications that's being used to install it. It is a wallpaper application, lovely wallpaper, which includes this additional payload. Google has, of course, removed the malware by now from the Google Play Store. It wasn't all that successful, infecting about 5,000 devices before it was removed. And researchers at Chrome Tech found an interesting point of sales botnet that uses vulnerable elastic search databases for command and control. Now, the malware itself is sort of your typical point of sales malware, while Chrome Tech notes that point of sales malware has been a little bit out of the headlines. It certainly still exists. It's still stealing credit cards. And in this case, vulnerable elastic search servers have been used in order to collect data and to control the malware. Interesting note here that pretty much all of these vulnerable and infected Elasticsearch servers are hosted with Amazon. Appears that in particular the Amazon free instances make it a little bit too easy maybe 
to set up an Elasticsearch instance without appropriately securing it. Now, in all fairness, uh, the Amazon instructions do guide the user through the install and do suggest a secure setup, but it's all too easy to skip over this and just set up an open Elasticsearch instance. Well, and that's it for today. So thanks for listening and talk to you again on Monday. Bye.